Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack a lack of jack a smack and it's Waffle Man with a video. And it's funny, I haven't ever used the jump shot creator. I only have it with my shot creator, but I've never actually used it. And that's because my shot release, which is release 74, I'm already fine with it. I've been using it since 2K16. I'm already comfortable. I'm good. I will actually start using the jump shot creator to see what's going on with that and what's the big deal about that high school one base. But let's talk about that jump shot creator, right? I think this is the first 2K with a jump shot creator for my career mode. And this is the first time in 2K where they actually introduced uh, feedback on the layups. They actually have a layup shot meter. So you have to time your layups. You can get an excellent release on layups. And if it's wide open, it'll usually still go in anyways. But you got to be careful. It could miss. And if you don't get that excellent release, which most of the time I don't get an excellent release with my layups anyways, even if it is wide open, it got me thinking, well, if we got a jump shot creator, I think it's safe to say that we will get a maybe a layup creator somewhere in the future. But I think 2K should add a layup creator in 2k18 or even a dunk creator in 2k18 man because first of all let's talk about the dunks real quick there's so many blocks in this game is ridiculous you can't even put under the basket athletic finishes man if you put that on you will get blocked because all your player does is cockbacks cockbacks cockback cockback so if you want to do standing dunks under the rim you got to put the regular version and of course there's going to be the people that say well if you want to not get blocked a lot where well, you got to put on the regular rim grazers but nobody wants to just put on regular rim grazes, man. You're playing on the park. You're playing on program. You want to show your, your skills out. You want to show some highlights, especially if you're making videos like me. You can't be putting on some boring rim grazes. Uh, but the layup creator, right? It's funny that 2K puts a restriction on the lead dribble moves and stuff like that. Well, you don't even have to be a slasher to get some of the dunks and the layups. Like, literally, if you're a, a point guard or a shooting guard or a small forward, you have access to every single layup. There's no restrictions on the layups. It's funny. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a lockdown defender. I could put on Michael Jordan's dunk package. And I could put on Michael Jordan's layup package. I could put on every single layup package. And I'm a lockdown defender. I understand you can't get contact dunks. Well, actually, if you actually make your lockdown defender a different style, you could get big man contact dunks. You know what I'm saying? But for a slasher, the only thing you're really getting... As, a, as an advantage is the freaking uh the contact dunks some my park dunks but you know and and the kobe and vince carter dunks which I, I honestly i don't even know why those are really locked for the the 80 driving dunks i haven't really tried those dunks actually it's on my slasher right now but i don't see the big difference between those dunks and the dunks i got with my shot creator to be honest so the only difference really is the freaking contact dunks and at that point it's like well why isn't there more of a restriction on some of these dunks and these layups? Why not? I mean, you got restrictions on the elite dribble moves. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, slashers can't get those some of those elite dribble Well, they can't get elite dribble moves, but my lockdown defender can't. But he can get all these dunks and stuff like that. So maybe in the next 2K, put a, a, a sort of premium cap on some of those dunk packages. Because everyone having all the dunks and stuff like that... And the same thing with the elite dribble moves. I think if 2K had tier systems uh, where the higher your, your layup is, uh, the more dunks you can get, the more layups you can get. And the same thing with the, the, the dribble moves and the playmaking. The higher playmaking you have, the more uh, elite moves you're going to be able to get. Because my shot creator can get all those elite dribble moves. And it's like, well, this guy's a 94 playmaker or 96 playmaker or 94 playmaking. And he's got the same dribble moves I got. Except that he can speed boost. And even if you make your shot creator a certain way, you can also still speed boost. So, 2K needs to be able to differentiate the archetypes a little bit more with them dribble moves and stuff like that. Uh, but talking about this layup creator, right? I think if 2K were to add a layup creator where people can choose the release for their layups. They can choose how quick they, they get the release off or how slow they get the release off. I think it would be a great feature. I mean, people use the jump shot creator. So they can get their release pinpoint perfect. So if people had a layup creator where they can make their own layups, or maybe if they have also dunks, whatever, they can get their releases to excellent more often, man. They can make contact layups more often. They could get rid of all these dumb animations that 2K has for the layups. And like I said, the higher your layup is, 
the more labs or lab uh, packages you can make in your labs. You know what I'm saying? So let's say you might have a 70 lab. Well, you'll only be able to put on like two type of labs. And if you got an 80, you might be able to put up three or four. And then up to 90, you can have like five or six different types of labs you can do. You know what I'm saying? That would be a better system to me for this layup shot meter. Because people are just taking layups and they're, they're missing layups. Sure, you know, my slash has stuff curiously up on. My shot creator's got a Russell Westbrook. And the problem I have with Russell Westbrook's layup is that at mid-range, sometimes my player, my shot creator, would just drive in for a layup. At the mid-range area, he will drive in for a layup when I actually want to take a shot creating shot. But instead, he will drive in. But I like Russell Westbrook's layup. I want to use it. But that, that, that mid-range driving in for a layup is the only problem. And for the Stephen Curry layup, I like that layup too for my slasher. It works well with my slasher. But sometimes when you take that Stephen Curry layup that goes like this, even though sometimes I'm not trying to take it, it's really, really off sometimes, man. I mean, sometimes it just doesn't go. And sometimes it works well, but sometimes it doesn't go. So I think a layup creator would be an interesting idea 2K should think about, man. I mean, they got all these layups in the game. I'm pretty sure not. I'm pretty sure most people are using the same two or three layups. I know a lot of people are using Derrick Rose. People are using, uh, you know, they're using Russell Westbrook and Curry. Some people are still using Curry and stuff like that. Some people got Michael Jordan on. I know I saw one person using Monte Ellis, but come on. You think people are really out there using layup packages like uh, who they got? John Wall? I, I don't think a lot of people are using all these layup packages, man. So if they had a layup creator, man. I think it would be more interesting, man. Just like they got the jump shot creator. If you put a shot meter on the layups, bring in the layup creator, man. I think that will make the game much more interesting, much more diverse. And it's just something 2K could add in the future. I mean, it makes sense. And I think 2K will eventually add it in the game because, come on, they, they, they got this layup meter. So why not? But anyways, leave your thoughts in the comment section, man. What do you think about the layups and how, you know, different archetypes can in, in all honesty, put almost all the layups and all the dunks, man. I'm out for now. Leave a like for more. And peace.